for the presence of the Lord, the Holy One is here. Come bow before Him now with reverence and fear. Of the Lord, the Holy One is Let us prepare our hearts and minds for worship. Let us pray. Lord, you are a very present help in times of trouble. Therefore, we will not fear. For we acknowledge your majesty, your goodness, your graciousness, O Lord. And we praise you, Lord, for the, your Holy Spirit. And we ask you, Lord, to let your spirit be upon all our students who are writing the SEA exam. Lord, fill them with your spirit. And Lord, we pray that you will guide them on their way. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, we pray. Amen. Listen to the word of God as it comes to us from Daniel chapter 6 and verses 16 to 23. So the king gave this order. 
And they brought Daniel and threw him into the lion's den. The king said to Daniel, May your God, whom you serve continually, rescue you. A stone was brought and placed over the mouth of the den. The king sealed it with his own signet ring and with the signet rings of his nobles so that nothing in regard to Daniel could be changed. Then the king went to his palace and spent the night fasting. No diversions were brought to him and he could not sleep. At the first light of dawn, the king got up and hurried to the lion's den. When he reached the den, he cried out in anguish to Daniel, Daniel, servant of the living God, the king said, has your God whom you serve continually been able to rescue you from the lions? Then Daniel spoke with the king, may the king live forever. My God sent his angel and shut the lion's mouth. They haven't hurt me, for I was found innocent before him. Also, I have not committed a crime against you, my king. The king was overjoyed and gave orders to take Daniel out of the lion's den. So Daniel was taken out of the den, uninjured, for he trusted in his God. This is the word of God read to us. Thanks be to God for his word. Amen. You are here. 
Let us pray. By your spirit of strength and hope, speak to us, O Lord. Grant us, O Lord, wisdom that we may hear your voice. And now may the words of my mouth and the meditation of all our hearts be acceptable in your sight, our strength, our Savior, and our Redeemer. Amen. My beloved students, as you prepare to finally write your SEA exams on Thursday, know this, each one of you is a winner. You have come through one of the most challenging times in recent history of any student writing the SEA exam had to face. That in itself is a great accomplishment as you prepare to take your exams on Thursday and you should be proud of yourselves. The Bible is full of stories of persons who had to face tremendous difficulties and because of their faith and trust and confidence in God, they came out victorious as you will come out victorious. One such story is about Daniel. He came to Babylon from Israel, and each king that came and went liked him because he was honest and hardworking, as you have been honest and hardworking. He was given the most important jobs, which made the other workers in the kingdom jealous of Daniel. This time, the king's name was Darius. And he also liked Daniel. He knew that Daniel was a good worker, so he decided to put Daniel in charge of the whole country. The other servants of the king, however, were very jealous of Daniel, and they tried to find something that would get Daniel in trouble. They were trying to get him fired, but Daniel obeyed God, so they couldn't find anything. Finally, these men said to each other, We can't find any reason for the king to fire Daniel. The only way we could get him to disobey the king is if we made a law against his God. So they went to King Darius and said, O oh, great king, you are so wonderful that no one should pray to anyone but you. The king said, that sounds like a great idea. Then the men continued, All of your workers have agreed that this should be done, and that anyone who prays to any other god should be thrown into the lion's den. The workers lied and said that everyone who worked for the king agreed, but of course they never talked to Daniel, because they knew he would not agree. The king, however, didn't know this, so he made the law, and it couldn't be changed. When Daniel heard about the new law, he said, I'll do what I have to do, as I always did. He went home to a room upstairs of his house and opened the windows that looked over the city. Three times that day, he went down on his knees and prayed to God just like he had always done. These men, however, went as a group to Daniel's house, and they found him praying and asking God for help. So they ran straight to the king and told him, Your worker Daniel is ignoring your command. We have seen him praying to his God three times a day. When the king heard this, he was very sad. He really liked Daniel and he didn't want him to die. He tried everything to get the law changed to stop Daniel from being thrown into the lion's den. But the man came to him and reminded him that the law could not be changed and Daniel would have to be punished. So at the end of the day, the king gave the order and they brought Daniel and threw him into the lion's den. The king said to Daniel, I hope your God 
who you serve and pray to will rescue you. A large heavy stone was rolled in front of the lion's den. The next day, as soon as the sun came up, the king got up and ran to the lion's den. As he got closer, he shouted, Daniel, has your God whom you serve and pray to rescued you from the lions? The king waited quietly for a response. Then all of a sudden, Daniel said, O king, live forever. My God sent an angel and he shut the mouths of the lions. They have not hurt me because I have done nothing wrong. The king jumped with joy and immediately ordered that Daniel be removed from the den. And when Daniel was lifted from the den, there was not even a single scratch on him because he trusted in God. The king knew that the men had tricked him into punishing Daniel, so he punished them by throwing them into the lion's den. After that, the king made a new law and he said, Daniel's God is great and I order that everyone in my kingdom must respect the Lord God who rescued Daniel from the hungry lions. My dear students, over the past year and more, you may have felt as if you were going to be eaten up by the lockdown measures taken while preparing for SE online learning, devices, interconnectivity, physically being away from teachers and friends, not being able to go to the malls, to cinema, beaches, etc. But like Daniel, keep trusting in God. Keep your faith and confidence in Him. As He delivered Daniel, He will deliver you and give you victory over the SEA exams. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
Let us bow in prayer. Let us pray. Lord, we come to you asking you to be with all our beautiful and wonderful children who have worked so hard and so diligently in a most difficult time, O oh God. Be with them, O oh Lord. Let your spirit fall upon them. Protect them, O oh God, as you protected Daniel. Give them the victory as you gave Daniel the victory, O oh God. Father, we pray that your spirit will fill them. And as they prepare to go and sit their exams, that they will be calm, that they will be confident, that you, O Lord, will be with them, that you, O Lord, will guide them. Father, we pray that you will grant them, grant them calmness of spirit, grant them clarity of thought, O Lord, that they will be able to answer their questions correctly. Grant them that confidence, O Lord, that at the end of the day, all things will be well with them. Lord, pour your spirit upon them. Lord, we ask you to be with their parents who have been with them from the beginning, who journeyed with them, O God, who supported them and loved them and cared for them, and who may be anxious, O Lord. Grant them too, O Lord, that peace which passes all understanding and that confidence in you. Lord, we pray that you will be with their teachers, all those teachers, O oh God, who love them and care for them and who have been working with them online and in so many other ways, O oh Lord, to ensure that they are prepared for these exams. We pray that you will bless them, O oh God. For Lord, as they go out to their schools to sit this exam, we pray that you will protect them. Protect them from the coronavirus, O oh God. Protect them on their journey to school and back home. Keep them safe, sound, and secure, and grant them, O oh Lord, the confidence that they need to know that you are in charge, and that you will be with them, that you will watch over them, and that you will continue, O oh Lord, to support them, for you love them, O oh God. Father, we pray that you will continue to bless these children and grant them victory in Jesus' name who taught us to pray together, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. We continue in prayer. Lord, Pour your spirit upon these, your children, their parents, their teachers, and all those who love them. And grant them, O Lord, that calmness of spirit, knowing that even in danger, you are with them. And as you shut the mouth of the lion, so Daniel will not be hurt. Shut, O Lord, away every danger, every harm, every disease. Protect this. Your children, O oh God, through Jesus Christ we pray. And now may the Lord bless us and keep us. May he make his face to shine upon us and be gracious unto us. May he lift up his countenance upon us and grant us his peace, both now and forevermore. Amen.